Are you using testosterone creams or gels and wondering how to increase testosterone cream absorption? My name is Dr. Terranella, and in this video, I'm going to explain the best practices to get the most out of testosterone cream absorption. Again, my name is Dr. Terranella, and if you're new to this channel, I just want you to know that I'm making these videos to help you go beyond the basics of your health, whether it's a confusing lab test, symptom, or diagnosis. I make these videos to help you get a better understanding of what's going on with your health. So if you like this kind of information on nutrition, health, hormones, et cetera, click on the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get more videos like this one. Now for a quick disclaimer, the information in this video is for informational purposes only. It's not intended as a treatment for any health condition or as a substitute for seeing an actual doctor or medical profession. It should be used as an educational guide to deeper your understanding of your own health and treatment success. If medical attention is needed, don't delay in seeking that attention. All right, let's take a look at how to increase testosterone cream absorption. <laughs> So I've gotten a few questions on topical testosterone versus injections. And I think the main question is, how do we make sure we're absorbing the testosterone? Or how do we optimize the absorption of testosterone when we're using a topical formula? So the main thing to think about with this question is, are there any barriers on the skin to testosterone absorption? This can be thing like hair, oils, or other lotions. Our skin is always producing different oils and things to protect it from things penetrating in there and also to hold on to our hydration. So this is protecting like our inner organs and tissues, but it can also create more of a barrier for things to penetrate. So if you're using testosterone as a topical or transdermal or any other transdermal medication, these oils can kind of interfere with the absorption. So when we're thinking about how to increase testosterone cream absorption, one thing you want to do is make sure that area is really clean. You should even go as far as washing it off before you apply it. It's also better to make sure you dry off the area before you apply it as well. Then you don't want to go and shower and wash it off within like, say, two hours or so. You should be fine to have a shower after that. And it's also really important to make sure you rotate the spots that you're applying so if you put it on the same spot every day, you can almost get like a buildup of that topical formula on that area. And so that's why it's important to wash it off and thoroughly wash those areas each time. This probably has more to do than just a buildup. The issue with applying to different spots probably has more to do with the receptors on the skin than anything else. The skin has receptors on there where it's going to allow for absorption of different things and they can get desensitized. So the more you apply it in the same spot, that area is going to get desensitized and less of it's going to penetrate through the skin. So your body will basically downregulate the ability to absorb the testosterone. Along these lines too, the type of skin that you apply it to. So if you apply it on the top of your arm, it's you know thicker skin there all on the folder part of our body, but the inner part, like inner arms, inner legs, et cetera, are more thin skinned area. And therefore it has less to penetrate through. You also want to make sure you rub it in long enough and rub it in thoroughly in order to get the best absorption. You definitely want to avoid using other creams and things around the area where you apply the testosterone cream. If you need to use those, you can still use them. I would just avoid that particular spot. So in summary, the best ways that I know to increase testosterone cream absorption is one, make sure you apply it to a clean skin and dry it off thoroughly before applying it. Make sure you rub it in very thoroughly. Make sure you don't put anything else on it. Make sure you rotate the site. Make sure you choose a site that is thinner skin, which is going to be all the inner parts of our body. And it may be helpful to take a hot shower beforehand to warm that skin up to allow for better penetration. So those are some of the things that I tell my patients when they're using topical forms of testosterone or other medications that are applied transdermally. I do find that topical solutions do work for some people, and sometimes it's a bit of a mystery why that is. Maybe they're following these instructions better than other people. Maybe it just has to do with their skin type. 
So how did I do? Did that help you better understand how to increase testosterone cream absorption? If it does, great. If you have follow-up questions on this topic, drop it in the comment section. I may do a separate video on that topic. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time.